punishment, uh, 5,000 fans, uh, this partial closure. <clears throat> do you think, is it, is it disproportionate? What do you think? Well, uh, I couldn't remember what happened at the Uni Manchester United game that your colleague was talking about. I think your job is to, to talk about these things. But we only found out yesterday about 6 p.m. And of course, we would like our fans to be there because it's an important game. And I hope we can we can sort everything out so it's even for both teams. And we have we can have all fans present. Ever since uh, the uh, first leg against City uh, ended. Everyone has been talking about Atletico Madrid and giving their opinions about Atletico Madrid. You said that you respect every opinion, but uh, why do you think they do it? Is there envy? Is there fear? Is there a lack of respect? What do you think? No, I always say the same thing. Uh, I've been here since 2005, 2006. I've been tr a coach since uh, since 2005, 2006, and I've never talked down uh, a, a colleague of mine or talked badly about a colleague of mine. I always try to get in the on the other coach's shoes, and there's different ways of expressing what you think and what you believe uh, in every game. But if when you you know, you show, you don't show appreciation, that colleague. I don't really share that. But then there is opinions of every ex-player, every journalist, people who haven't played the game for a while and they want to they want to say a different thing. But like my dad said, uh, the, the fish dies by the mouth. It's a, it's a saying, uh, talk is cheap, talk is free, and everybody can talk. But... Uh, but I don't talk badly of uh, colleagues. Uh, we all have their own ways, and I always respect my my fellow the fellow coaches. Always, always, always. Atletico knows the way because they've walked through that before. They know what is to 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 come back against important rivals like tomorrow. Do you think it's a lot about the attitude, about thinking what the um, and trying to find what your team found, the kind of character that your team found, or is or is this rival sp rival specially difficult? Well, like I said, we are playing a, a, a team that plays. Excellent football, dynamic, uh, great in possession, in possession gr uh, fast transitions. <clears throat> they they make the most of, of every little space they find. But we have the excitement and we have the eagerness, and whatever we could generate in the previous match with our result is excitement. Obviously, it's not only uh, uh, excitement alone will, will not do. But so we need to prove something else on the pitch. We'll try to, to, to make the most of our style. We'll try to play. And there's no more words about it, really. We'll have to prove whatever we can do on the pitch. On the worst... Uh, uh, in the first leg, uh, it's just a mistake that prevented you from, from getting up even better results because you defended really well. Uh, Koke was talking about this plan uh, you have. Can you tell us any of the keys of that plan tomorrow? Well, of course, we're not going to, to go too far from, from what, they, what we normally do. We'll go for the perfect timing to try and create what we can do. We, I hope we can create, we can have faster transitions and, and, and make the most of the counterattacks that we have and, and be clinical in front of goal and, and, and hope that our players with more hierarchy have a fantastic night and 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 use our motivation the momentum of the game etc anything can happen on a football pitch as you know with everything that you've been talking about styles etc you were had you were very you had very clear in your mind the kind of game that you were playing in the first uh, in the in the first leg <clears throat> Do you think City will be a little bit more offensive than in the first game? No, they they play the same game. I mean, you know, no matter what they who they play or when they play, they have their own game philosophy. It's really well respected, and people love that. They have great footballers. They have a great coach. 
a genius coach, and I can't picture them doing anything else that what that what we see every time we turn the TV on. And you know, they, they press very high, they love possession, they go out in transition real fast. So what's important is what we can do against that. And going back to this uh, UEFA punishment, I'd like to see how you lift that moment in, in Manchester in which you saw bottles coming at you and insults, etc. So if UEFA finally won't accept your appeal, uh, Atletico's appeal, do you think that would be unfair given the circumstances? Well, it's not, um, it's not my place to, to be uh, the lawyer. Uh, you know, it's not my place to decide what's fair and what's not. I just ran after the game like I always do. And yes, I saw just things flying by. Nothing, nothing hit me really. I was lucky enough, but and that's uh, nobody found out about that until you talked about because I really, that's behind me now. Sorry to insist with the with this uh, sanction or this punishment. Uh, you you were you said you was hoping in order to. To to UEFA being uh, uh, fair for everyone, you know, uh, so UEFA has been lately has been really a bit hard on you. Uh, you are you are Carrasco got some suspension, etc. No, no you are, uh, Savage and Carrasco were fairly suspended. That's nothing to do with that. It's arguable, of course, but I don't want to comment on that. I don't think we were treated unfairly. That's what I want to say. And Carrasco is coming back after uh, suspension. How do you see him? And do you think he has a place on the first eleven without uh, Lodi being uh, affected? Could be. Could be. Uh, um, we, we, you know, we we tried. Uh, we it, sometimes we, it differs uh, what we do on the training the day before as to what we do finally on the night. He's oh, looking forward to the, to the game. Of course, he played a fantastic season last season, and we need that that Carrasco because he's a defi a decisive, determinant player for us when he's in that sort of form. Hi. I just wanted to ask if you watched the game between Liverpool and Manchester City at the weekend, what you thought of it and whether that gave you more confidence of getting a result today or more fearful. Well, no, we always have the same level of respect uh, towards all the rivals we face and we always try to, to to watch, of course, all the big games and, of course, it was important uh, uh, for us. Uh, Liverpool and City was a fantastic game with a lot of really good football being played. Uh, both Liverpool and City had to defend quite a lot because of the talent that, that, that the, the opponent had, you know. So they both had to uh, go back and, and, and defend because of the attacking power of the rival, like I said. They are in a, both in a fantastic moment. They really play good football, but it doesn't really change my, the thought that I had, uh, you know, towards uh, the game now, the, tomorrow. Thank you so much.